Hello everyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to do some regular ones if I can, because I can get out into the countryside. So really, if you can't get healthy through being in the countryside, the next best thing is to see it. Anyway, today I'm doing some foraging. And guess what I'm after? Because I've got a load of rice, but I need something to go with it. So uh, I'm thinking of, of uh, freezing some ramsons. So I've come armed with a string vest. It's not, it's a bag. And um, a pair of scissors. So let's get picking. Now I'm looking for the healthiest green, but I can't get any that's that good but I'm going to get the next best thing so uh, I'm trying to get it as unmarked of bird shit as I can this is a lovely bit of coppice well I'm struggling to find any I'm picking my way through so I don't damage it following what patches I can you can't see I haven't I haven't barged all the way through but it's fine it's proving hard I thought on the non-leaning side of the tree I might be able to find some without any without any birch yet well look at that stump through there Well, I did a longer walk down this way yesterday, but um, I should be, I sh that should either be uploaded by now, or if they've turned the internet off, well, that will be uploaded sometimes. So, a little tip is don't, don't harvest stuff by a path, because men can have a piss anywhere, dogs can have a piss anywhere, as can foxes, badgers, and other animals. So try to get stuff that's not at the side of the path. So I've given up on that patch. I was just up there. I was just there. No, not there, <laughs> that one. I was just up there. So I'm gonna wait till I go further up because I've already checked it out. So there's tip number three. No, number two, yeah. Number one, find a patch. No, I don't know. I haven't numbered these tips. I think it's tip number two, isn't it? Uh, go and have a look for where you can harvest some. Check it out. Uh, decide what you're going to harvest and come prepared with a string vest or gloves and suitable container for nettles because I'm after them as well. And I'm wondering because there's a nice patch there. So I may get some nettles while I'm here. But come and listen to this. See, this is nature healing. Now while we're here, look at this, even in nature, orders 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 control i just noticed that there was a gap here and if anyone knows anything about sheep the one thing about sheep is that every day they look for another way to die and the second thing about sheep is every day they look for another way out of their field so I, i've just uh, rewired the gate shut and that's something if you come out for a walk if you ever get the chance again and you notice things obviously you leave things as you found them unless it's obvious that a gate was open and shouldn't be um, so you close all gates and leave things exactly how you found them the law of nature and being respectful I'm going to do it no one's gonna miss these it's a 
basically what you do is you take either young nettles, the whole of them, or just the tops. I mean, I'd take the leaves down to, down to there. Uh, as you can see, I've just done that with my bare hands. Um, if you ever get brave enough to do that, basically the, the sting will only sting one way. So if you flatten them down, you won't get stung. Uh, so it's left me with a bit of a problem. I've now got to <laughs> deal with this because I'm going to eat those. Um, so basically what you do is you grab, grab hold with your left hand just below these leaves and then break it off where you can see where, where my finger starts, if you can see that. Um, also, look for, make sure you don't pull anything else. I mean, in this case, there's some cleavers. They're edible as well, so you're all right, but make sure you don't pick anything else with the, the nettles, because you could end up getting something poisonous. Um, and the other thing is, if the weather's been wet like it has been for the last six months, what it means is that you can pull a nettle and you can pull all the roots up. Now, in a garden, that's, that's okay because you may not want them to, to spread. But when you're out in the wild, they do provide habitat for, I mean, the peacock butterfly springs to mind. But there are other things that rely on nettles. And actually, it's a very useful plant for lots of things. Clothes, string, rope, food. You know, you name it, it can do things. So, just because it stings, <laughs> my fingers are, are a bit tingly at the moment from where I picked that first one. Anyway, I'm gonna get some more. Now, there we go, I got some. It's not loads, but it's enough for me. Uh, if you've ever had nettle soup, you, well, I, to me, nettle soup tastes a bit like fish it's like a fish soup but I'm not a soup fan anyway so these are going to go in my curries just to add some green in there so that's not a problem for me um, soup's no good it doesn't fill me up uh, never <laughs> I always end up having to eat loads of other things as well so I've noticed that women are more interested in soup. I'm not too bad at soup if it's got loads of lumps in and I can chew something. Okay, so that's today's nettle harvest. I'm now gonna go, oh, I better put my gloves away and go up and get some garlic. Don't know if I did say, but when you're picking nettles, um, cut the top four inches of young nettles. Uh, and that way they grow back. A uh, little trick, a little tip if you're a gardener. I mean, back doing that reminds me of my day job. It's a bit like gardening. But um, what you, if you want to get rid of nettles, you bash them down, don't cut them. If you cut them, they can regrow. But if you bash them, you make the bit that's going to grow just damaged. It's more damaged, so it prevents it from growing. But as anything, my recommendation is to dig up the roots. So pull up the roots if you want to get rid of nettles. On the other hand, you could eat them out of your garden. Just a thought. Well, what I've decided to do and what I have been doing is just taking a few from different places because it's very hard when you're in a wood like this um, with no leaves on to find any that hasn't been shat on by birds. So I'm trying to get the best quality. But what I'm doing is cutting. Well, if you look in here, see that? You cut down at the stems. So what I've been doing is actually getting a, a variety of size leaves and flowers. I mean, the flowers aren't out yet, so we've got a good month left of harvesting. So I'm just going to take some home for to put in my rice, and um, I'll get some more at another point and, and freeze it. Well, with the nettles, what you do is 
wash it in a bowl of water. Um, still use gloves if you can, or put them in a colander. Tip them, tip them out into a colander, and then wash that in the water. Uh, and then bring a pan up to the boil and tip the nettles in there for about 30 seconds and then get them out by, and then get them out, drain, put them in ice water. Uh, I won't be doing that. I'll be putting them in cold water to blanch them and that way you stop them cooking as soon as they hit cold water or ice water, they stop cooking. And so you preserve them and then wring them out. They won't sting you after 30 seconds. It, it doesn't take long for the sting to go. So that's what you do with those. Well, garlic, um, give it a wash, dry it and put it in the freezer. Or you can leave it in the fridge, um, you know, in a, in a container in the fridge for about three days. Same with nettles, you can store them in the fridge for about three days. But uh, you want to blanch them as soon as you can, just get rid of the sting. That's basically it, it's quite simple really. Jobs are good, as they say. There, I've got, I've got enough probably. There, you see what you do. You cut down right to the bottom of the stem. And you can use it in all sorts of ways. You can chop, you know, you can just chop it up into little pieces, shred it, make it into pesto. Yeah, however you want. Be inventive. I just stopped to harvest some more. As you can see, it's only just coming into flower there. Oh, not flower, but buds. A little word of caution, one of those buds is very likely to make your mouth taste, certainly for the rest of the day and well into the next day, even with brushing your teeth twice. Sometimes they won't, but I've had that experience a number of times, so I wouldn't recommend it unless you totally love garlic. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Tell her.